ever considered if crystals have their own frequencies? It's a question that's been asked by many, sparking curiosity and debate. You've likely heard the claim that these beautiful natural formations can somehow change our personal vibrations. But is there any truth to these statements? Or are they simply tales spun by those with a flair for the mystical? So let's put on our detective hats and delve into the compelling world of crystals and discover the truth. Before we dive into the science of crystals, we must first understand what they are. Crystals, in their simplest form, are solid materials whose atoms are arranged in a highly ordered, repeating pattern extending in all three spatial dimensions. This unique structure gives them their defining characteristic, the flat faces and sharp angles that we often associate with crystals. But how do these unique structures come into existence? Well, it all starts with a process called crystallization. Picture, if you will, a hot, molten mass of atoms. As this mass cools, the atoms begin to slow down and arrange themselves into a repeating pattern. Over time, this organized mass of atoms grows, eventually forming what we know as a crystal. Now, not all crystals are created equal. There are many different types of crystals, each with their own unique properties and structures. For example, the diamond, that sparkling symbol of love and commitment, is a crystal. Yes, it's true. Those beautiful shiny stones are formed from carbon atoms arranged in a specific crystalline structure, making them one of the hardest substances on Earth. But crystals aren't just for adorning fingers and necklines. They are found in common everyday objects too. Take quartz, for instance. It's a crystal that's often used in watches and clocks because of its ability to keep time extremely accurately. And then there's amethyst, a type of quartz known for its beautiful purple color. Amethyst crystals are often used in jewelry, but they're also popular among those who believe in the healing power of crystals. From the glimmering stalactites in caves to the frost patterns on your winter window, crystals are everywhere. They are a testament to the beauty and complexity of the natural world, and a reminder that even the smallest things can contain a world of wonder. Now that we have a basic understanding of crystals, we can explore their scientific properties. So, do crystals really have their own frequencies? An intriguing question, isn't it? The answer is a resounding yes, but to understand why, we need to delve a little deeper into the world of physics. In the simplest terms, frequency refers to how often something happens over a particular period of time. In the context of crystals, we're talking about vibrational frequency, the rate at which the atoms in a crystal vibrate when they're subjected to a form of energy like heat, light or electricity. Now here's where things get really interesting. Some crystals possess a unique property known as piezoelectricity. This is a phenomenon where crystals generate an electric charge in response to mechanical stress. Quartz, for example, is a piezoelectric crystal. When you apply pressure to a quartz crystal, it produces an electrical voltage. This is why quartz is often used in watches and clocks. The pressure from the oscillating components of the watch causes the quartz to generate a steady electrical current, which is used to keep time. But how does this relate to frequency? Well, any time an electric charge is generated, it's accompanied by an electromagnetic field. This field vibrates at a certain frequency, which is determined by the properties of the crystal itself. So in a very real sense, crystals do have their own unique frequencies. Here's another fun fact. The piezoelectric effect works both ways. If you apply an electrical current to a piezoelectric crystal, it will vibrate at a frequency corresponding to that current. This is how quartz crystal oscillators work, which are used in everything from radio transmitters to cell phones. So in answering our original question, yes, crystals do have their own frequencies. But their true marvel lies not just in their individual frequencies, but in their ability to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy and vice versa. This fascinating property of crystals leads us to our next question. Can crystals actually change our vibrations? This question has been the subject of much debate and speculation. At this juncture, it's important to understand that humans, like everything else in the universe, are made up of energy. This energy vibrates at different frequencies, which some believe can be influenced by external factors, such as the energy of crystals. The human body is a complex system of energy fields, 
also known as biofields, which interact with each other. These biofields are composed of electromagnetic energy and are constantly in motion, creating a dynamic vibratory state. Some proponents of crystal therapy suggest that crystals, with their stable and unchanging energy frequencies, can interact with our biofields, potentially causing our energy to tune to their frequency. Now, let's consider the scientific standpoint. Crystals are indeed fascinating from a scientific perspective. They possess a precise and orderly structure at the atomic level, which allows them to interact with energy in unique ways. This is why crystals are used in technology, such as quartz in watches and silicon in computer chips, where they convert energy and create specific frequencies. However, the concept of crystals influencing human energy fields is a different matter. The scientific community is inherently skeptical, as there is currently little empirical evidence to support the idea that crystals can change human vibrations. Most studies conducted so far have been relatively small and often lack rigorous methodology. This doesn't necessarily mean that crystals don't have an effect on human energy. It simply means that we don't have scientific proof yet. It's also worth noting that the placebo effect could play a significant role in people's experiences with crystals. If someone believes that a crystal will have a certain effect, their mind may create that effect, regardless of whether the crystal is actually influencing their energy. So can crystals actually change our vibrations? While the idea is compelling, and many people swear by their experiences, science has yet to provide definitive proof. It's a fascinating area of study that continues to intrigue scientists and crystal enthusiasts alike. So, what does science really say about crystals? Well, crystals are a marvel of nature, a testament to the beauty that chemistry and physics can create. They have unique properties that make them invaluable in many areas of technology. Just think about quartz crystals, for instance. These little powerhouses are used in watches, clocks, and a wide range of electronic devices. Why? Because they have a unique ability to generate a consistent frequency when an electric current is applied. Now, let's talk about silicon, the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust, which also happens to form crystals. Silicon crystals are at the heart of our digital world. They are used in semiconductors, the essential components of most electronic circuits. Without these crystals, there would be no smartphones, no computers, no digital revolution. And then there are the diamonds, those brilliant crystals that have been the objects of desire for centuries. But beyond their aesthetic appeal, diamonds are the hardest known natural material and have exceptional thermal conductivity making them useful in various industrial applications. But what about the idea that crystals have mystical or healing properties, that they can change our vibrations or our energy? The truth is, there's currently no scientific evidence to support these beliefs. While it's true that everything, including us and the crystals, vibrates at certain frequencies, there's no proof that a crystal can influence these frequencies in a way that could affect our health or well-being. This doesn't mean that people don't find comfort or joy in crystals. Many do and that's perfectly okay. But attributing these feelings to the crystal's vibrations or energies is a leap that science doesn't support. At least, not yet. Science is always evolving, always questioning, always exploring, who knows what we might discover in the future. While crystals are undoubtedly fascinating, it's important to approach their mystical properties with a scientific mindset. Let's wrap up our journey into the world of crystals. We've peeled back the layers of these fascinating structures, diving deep into their very essence. From their basic formation to their unique frequencies, we've explored the intriguing facets of these natural wonders. Remember the basics, how crystals are a solid material whose atoms are arranged in a highly ordered repeating pattern extending in all three spatial dimensions. Their unique geometric shapes are a testament to the beauty of nature's architecture. We then delved into the frequencies of crystals, discussing how each one resonates with its own specific frequency. This unique frequency is what many believe allows crystals to interact with human energy, possibly influencing our own vibrational frequencies. This brought us to an exploration of how crystals might change our vibrations. While the scientific consensus is still forming, 
there are many who attest to the power of crystals in their daily lives. From amethysts said to bring calm to quartz known for its cleansing properties, the anecdotal evidence is compelling. Lastly, we touched upon the current scientific understanding of crystals. While there's still much to learn, science has given us a foundation from which to continue our explorations. With each new study, we gain a deeper understanding of these captivating structures. As we continue to explore and understand the mysteries of the universe, who knows what we might discover about these intriguing structures in the future. Until then, keep your curiosity piqued, we will see you in the next video. If you learned something, like, share and subscribe to our channel.